Hey guys, this is Hatred from AffiliateHustle.com. I'm back with the second part of the tutorial. If you haven't seen the first part, there will be an annotation and a link in the description on how to find it, and I suggest watching it from the beginning. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to go over how to set up GSA in my current settings and what I'm doing to make GSA still viable. So, in the first part, this is what GSA is going to look like, just real plain. You're going to want to configure your options. So first part is submission. Um, this is all depending on how many proxies you have, but generally you're going to have between 100 to 200 threads and uh, HTML timeout I use 120. Um, I don't use any of these settings. I use proxies, I use, I use search engines, and I have it set to private and I wait one second. I don't really notice a difference with that, but I use it. Um, I do submission and verification with my private proxies and then the rest I don't do anything with. I don't see a need. CAPTCHA, um, I use CAPTCHA Breaker. Um, when you want to add a service you just hit the service that you have so you just hit CAPTCHA Breaker and I have it open as well. Um, indexing, I don't use an indexer and I don't use my API um, but you can. I'll link the um, the indexer I use, I just like to do it manually. I don't really like to have my links indexed as soon as I I, I um I make them. So that's just what I do. Um, I use a filter for um like malware type domains and stuff. So I leave that checked. And these are the default they give you. Advanced. I only save my verified links because those are the only ones I care about. I don't care if I identify targets or submit them. Um, I only care if they're valid links um, and these are the settings if you need to you can just pause this video at any time and go back and configure those so those are set um, at this point I'm gonna have my strategy open again or I'm gonna have it here just for reference um, but I suggest having it open on the side Alright, so I have check none. Um, so the first tier we have our um, our web twos. Those are the URLs, but this is the tier two contextual. So we have articles. Um, this might be default from when I set this up earlier. Yep. No biggie. Um, article, micro or uh, da, 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 social network, web twos and wikis. So URLs, I'm going to leave a list of these in the description as well, just for reference, but these are basic web twos, and you're going to create subdomains on these, and this is the buffer uh, between all that link use in my strategy. So those are the URLs you're going to use. Um, let me get an email in there real quick before I forget. All right. This is my email. I, I use the same again. I'm gonna have all the people I use for my server, for my email, for my my um, my proxies, um, my link indexer. I'll have all that in the description for you to check out, as well as in like a written tutorial on affiliate hustle. Um, they're relatively cheap. I have the wait time 900 seconds, so that's just out of the way. All right, so I use a random URL in submission. So that's just a random URL from the URL list that we have here. Um, between our web twos, I have 10 in there. I use very uh, URL variations at 20%. Um, keywords, I believe I have a keyword list I provided. Um, it's in another tutorial, but I'll link it again. Or you can use um, keywords that I shared for Fury Kyle's list. I'll just use these for now. These are good or not. Keywords open. All right. The keywords don't really matter. These are just when you uh, search Google. This is what you're going to be querying with your search engines. I don't have any of these checked. Um, for this tutorial, we're going to use um, weight loss as our keyword. So we're going to make a weight loss website. How to lose weight. Actually, we'll use that our main. 
So these are your main keywords in here. This is your uh, your main anchor. Um, I use partial matches. So for example, how to lose weight, weight loss methods. Um, I don't use secondaries branding. Say our website is lose yourself. So I'm big on branding. Um, I like to brand my websites. It just looks natural for Google. Um, so something like that is something you could do. Although I, I keep this at about 20. I don't use LSI. I use generics and um, anchor. Domain is anchor. I keep that at 25. And anchor text variations. Um, for the content, this is already generated, but I'm going to pull up look at article creator right now this is what I used to generate content and I'm just gonna replace all that content that was there um, I'll show you how this works and I'm gonna pause the video just so I can go to my Dropbox and um, transfer some stuff and make it faster so you go to GSA say our keyword was weight loss so we hit build and it's gonna scrape uh, article directories um, gather um, text and then combine them in a builder and then export it for GSA so you can just hit import on the, the software alright so it just is in the builder mode now this automatically does this I hit add all I don't bother with these because I already have them configured um, and you just hit export to file and I'll see you in a bit on my server. Alright, so you're going to hit Tools, Import, Data Fields, and you're going to go to where the file is located that you just exported. So, Weight Loss, Open, and it's going to fill. We already have keywords done, anchor text done, so we just want these to be filled. And hit OK. And all the data fields should be filled now. Yep articles um, article I have it just a link at a random location I don't use authority URLs that's bullshit don't buy into that crap you're just sending more juice to authority sites and you're cutting off link use to your own so there's no point um, I do a random image just for a content sake um, options alright this is the big stuff um, I use capture breaker I don't use um, any sort of uh, captcha solving service so I don't pay someone like death by captcha so I just hit skip um, I have this set I don't use an indexer like I said before I'll provide that in the description I don't random like there's no point in that one I always try to place URL and I continuously try to do it um, for this this um, these are your search engines and how you find URLs so if you're just using Linkless, you don't want any of this stuff checked, but if you are scraping Google, you're going to hit check, and then I do by language in English. Um, you can also use the global site list, but you got to remember that these are the links that everybody that has GSA can access, so they're probably spanned a ton, so I don't use those either. Um, for this, I'm just going to leave open, um, like we're scraping Google and other um, English-based search engines. Um, I don't have this setting checked when I first start a campaign for allow posting on the same site again per URL. So like when you're building links right here with GSA, you're going to be having a link on rotation based on this data. So you're using a random URL. And what this will do is it'll take those URLs that you're building and have a link sent to each one. So I don't do that until I can see how many um, contextuals I can actually push out. And if I get an amount like at 10,000 or so, I'll check this and just have it rerun and go to every single URL. Um, filter URLs. For the tier 2 contextual, I have this set to skip sites with more than 50 outgoing links on a page. And I don't go based off PR for analysis because it's just a dead metric. It hasn't been updated in about a year, so there's no point in doing it. Um, I avoid posting on sites with just an IP because it looks spammy. And I also skip um, bad words for filter and tier 2 contextuals. Um, email, I just showed you how to do that. 
no notes, no external APIs, and that's how I um, set up GSA. A lot of people are going to tell you maybe to do this, um, uncheck engines with no contextual links, but uh, it's just yes and no. And same thing with no follow. You may be able to get engines that have them, and you may not. So I just leave them checked. Um, having a healthy balance of no follow links is fine, even though it doesn't pass any juice. But um, so those are the settings for tier two contextual. So we have that set up. Now what you can do to make this really fast is um, go to modify project. Um, and you're going to duplicate. Um, add a tier. So for here, we're going to be setting up a um, a tier to the contextual. So that in this tier two, um, if you have that um, strategy open, you'll see the links coming in from the side, which is our kitchen sink. So that's what I'm about to build right now. Um, we also need to set up a another one. So we're going to duplicate this again. We actually are going to duplicate this um, four times, I think. And we're going to edit it then. Add a tier. All right, so we're going to edit this. And our kitchen sink, we don't use articles, social networks, web twos, or wikis. Um, we use blog comments guest books, forums, images, microblog, and trackback. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I, I'll probably have um, a template that you can just import through here. Import template. Um, that's just the way I do it. And I'll show you this before I, I don't do it. So you're going to have this option right here you've used verified URLs for another project, so you're gonna send those links to the links in that project. So the one we just built was our tier two contextual. We're building kitchen sync to that. So we're gonna hit okay. And um, I'll show you settings for this later because these are another key to my success. Um, we wanna build links to sites that are actually indexed on Google, but I don't do that to about maybe a week or so in. Um, because I don't really run my indexer immediately. I like to have the velocity at a decent amount. So let's just hit OK for that now. Um, again, this should all be set up and good to go already, considering we just set it up. Um, in the Tier 2 contextual, remember I don't use any sort of filter, so we're going to take these off. Um, and those are good. Um, hit OK. Now let's duplicate this again, modify, duplicate, add a tier. Whoa. Duplicate this once. All right, so edit this contextual. So these are going to get built to the Weebly tier. You gotta make sure that you're sending this contextual layer to the first contextual layer, so hit okay. And in this layer, we don't use filters. It's just pure contextual, just sending mass links. And hit OK. So that one's good. That This is the way the structures should look as well, in case you're trying to go based off a reference. Um, again, we're just going to go back through here and make sure there's no filters. Yeah, OK, we're good. So that's our kitchen sink going to our tier 3. And then we need to duplicate this one because we're gonna make that kitchen sink that's going to the web twos themselves. So duplicate everything. Okay, okay. 
Um, so we need to edit the second one. And these are going to the Weebly, so just to hit uncheck. Um, and you're going to use filters on these, so I go based on 100. And uh, we use the bad word filter and avoid posting the subdomains and hit OK. So we have, I'll have the screenshot right here on the screen so you can reference it. So we have that kitchen sink going straight to the Weeblies themselves, so the Web 2s. Um, that's the top of the tier. Um, this is the contextual, the first contextual layer that's um, got our filter for. 50 outbound links and bad word filtered going to the web twos themselves then we have the kitchen sink coming in from the side that's got a filter for 100 outbound links and bad words going to the contextuals then we have a tier 3 contextual layer that goes to the tier 2 contextual and to build up those tier 3's we have a kitchen sink layer that goes to the tier 3 um, so just some pro tips um, so you're gonna be building out you're gonna wanna leave the first one active because you can't obviously be building links to links that aren't there so this first layer of um, tier 2 what's gonna happen is you're gonna have links over time yeah we don't have any URLs right now but there will normally be um, URLs for you to test and what you're gonna do is you're gonna do an index check and you can all I'd first verify them to make sure that the link is still there and that the URL is working then you're gonna index check and make sure they're indexed on Google because there's no sense in building up um, tiers that aren't there um, if that makes sense so another thing I do is I'll take this um, tier 2 layer, or tier 3, sorry, and I'll hit edit. And I want this tier filter to be built to do follows only because, again, what's the point in building links to something if you're not going to pass juice? Like, juice flows in my diagram from the bottom up to your web 2s, and then that goes to your money site. So there's no point in having something that's not going to pass juice. I mean, having those no-fall links in place is fine. It looks natural, but they don't pass juice. Just simply that. They, they just don't. Um, so that's basically how I build um, tiers in GSA. And this is probably the most effective, or effective way to do it. Something I didn't mention was um, my wiki blast and my social bookmarks. You'll see a lot of people that have in the structure um, those coming in from the side because it doesn't make sense in your kitchen sink layers to be having social bookmarks coming in from the side. Granted, you could use them, but they're just not as powerful as the ones I used because they come from um, like PR9 to PR0 sites. So the way I blast them is completely different. I have a list of them. Again, I'll probably be selling that in Source Market if you want to get your hands on it. I know Franklin's offering the same type of service, so you can just go with him if you're more comfortable working with his services but um yeah this has been my strategy this is hatred from affiliate hustle.com um, be sure to check us out um if you have any questions leave them in the comments on this video or on our forum thread where i'll be posting this